Hello and welcome back for Senior Strength. Today I'm going to do a full body workout. We're going to get onto the floor, so you'll want your mat. We'll also use a chair and a set of light weights. So make sure you have some water. Please watch first uh, so you'll know what the exercises are before you get started. And please feel free to use the modifications that I offer and do what works best for your body today. Have your water, grab your equipment, and let's get ready to go. Okay, are you ready? Let's start nice and easy today. Just tilt your head side to side. Drop your ear to one side, drop your ear to the other side, relax your shoulders, stand up nice and tall. Excellent. Now turn and look to your right and turn and look to your left, keeping your head up. Nice and level. One more. Very good. Look up to the ceiling and look down to the floor. Keep the chest up. Keep your shoulders back and down. Two more. And last one. Very nice. How are you feeling so far? Nice and easy. Shoulders roll up, back and down. Up, back and down. Up, back and down. Keep those knees soft. Four more. And three. And two. And one, let's go the other way. Shoulders forward and forward and forward. Four, three, two, one. I always like to end back. Let's do two more. Rolling back, keep those shoulder blades. See if you can, throughout the class, keep those shoulders going back and down. Very nice. Open up, deep breath. Exhale, take your hands to the top of your thighs, bend those knees, nice and long through the spine, and then pull your belly in, roll up, deep breath, and exhale, hands on the top of the thighs, bend those knees, roll up, very nice, let's do that twice more, and exhale, and slide down, and roll up. Last one. Deep breath. Exhale. Slide down and roll up. Oh, that feels so good. How are you doing so far? And take it out. Turn those feet out just a little bit. Take a deep breath. And exhale and lean. And deep breath, exhale, other side, lean. Beautiful, deep breath. And lean, one more, deep breath. Exhale and lean, just the leans to the right and to, or to the left and to the right. Started with the right arm, but the left leg, four, Three, two, one, and into the center, both knees bent, take a peek down, knees and toes facing the same direction, up nice and tall, not leaning forward, take it down and up, and down and up, very good, let's do four more of these, four, three, two, and one. And now let's turn our toes facing forward. Bring it just a little narrower and slide down. And three, and two, and one. And deep breath, exhale, slide down and up. One more deep breath. Exhale, slide down, roll it up, deep breath, turn those feet out, and deep breath, exhale, press out, 
and good so you had a little rotation we're going to add more rotation focal point forward pull the belly in hand here bring your knee across excellent if you're feeling good press that hand down but keep the torso lifted four three two one let's switch right here and so you'll see because my elbows out to the side that I'm not tilting down the knees coming across and you can press so we have a little balance happening already and one and excellent take a deep breath we feel good okay this next part is definitely getting into hips so you may start here hips stacked bend and straighten yes so you're going to lift the lower leg up and down keep your uh, inside of your put, foot going up toward the ceiling keep your knee facing forward this is for that inner thigh now if you're if you wish to challenge yourself a little more rather than head down elbow lift and right there so that's going to be a little more difficult so you choose you might choose the floor first and give it a try your abdominals are pulled in nice and tight give me two more one more very nice now this leg is going to lift but i want your knee to face forward as you extend and extend good so we had the inner thigh getting into the outer thigh on the other leg and we're going to lift and extend and lift and extend you can be here make sure this leg is not uh, opened up to the ceiling see the difference in my toe toe stays pointed to the side and lift good either way lift three two one release three two one release three two one release three two one two more please up 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 and extend beautiful push through the bottom of that foot and there very nice i want you to definitely be down here drop that foot you're just going to keep the knees hips toes facing forward lift and lower abdominals pulled in good this hand is a kickstand so you don't feel like you're going to roll over four three two hold it up right there little presses eight seven six five four three two one bend that knee place that foot back lift eight seven six five we're not gonna forget that inner thigh and release we'll do that on the other side so remember you've got two choices to be lying on the floor support your head on your forearm or your upper arm or you may be lifted give it a try both ways see which one is going to work for you so bring that front leg forward a little bit plant the top leg on the floor and then straighten out and we lift and lower please don't go here if you're going to try this 
and you can't stay upright and you fall into your shoulder, definitely go here because this is a great exercise for the inner outer thighs. If you're ready to add that core strength and through the obliques, lats and shoulders holding you up, that's great. But for now, if you can't do that, stay with this. Two, one, and kick. Remember, forward, good. Knees, toes forward. Good, you should, you should be able to feel that rotation in that hip as you bring that foot around. Two, one, let's go. Up and kick, good, up. Give me that kick and lift and kick and lift and kick and lift and kick one more please up for three three two one release three press through the bottom of that foot three two one and three two one whichever version you're doing pulling really tight through that belly button Make sure you're breathing. One more. Good. Three, two, one. Just drop that leg. You got it. Up and down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it up, little presses. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Bend that knee. Place that foot back down. Inner thigh. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And excellent. All right. Grab yourself a drink of water after that one. Gonna keep my chair or my mat there. I'm going to place my chair right here. So that's going to keep it, keep it in place. Okay. Going to sit in front or stand in front of my chair. Let's see, do I need to adjust that just slightly? There we go. Okay. <laughs> I'm cutting off my head. There we go. Okay. All right. Nice wide stance. I can feel the back of my chair right behind my the backs of my knees. Hold those hold those weights. I just want you to tap, come down as low over the chair as you can, and stand up. Yes. This is completely doable without the weights. Good. That was four. Give me four more, please. Four. Three. Two. One more. Excellent. We're going to reach between our knees with a long spine. So long spine. So it's not a collapse, please. So reach on the squat, come back, press, and reach. If your shoulders aren't happy with pressing above your head, modification would be right here. Just bring your elbows forward, pull back, down, and press those elbows forward and pull back. Yes. So you can try either version. Two more. And one more. And well done. Take a seat. What? Take your feet out nice and wide. 
Nice turn out. You're going to pull your knees together. Take them out. Try not to do that by bucking forward and back. Keep the abs in. Tap those, hold those knees in tight. They get wide. I want you to stand up. What? Sit down. Pull those knees in. Take it out. Stand up. And again, this can be done without the weight at all. Use your core. Beautiful. Use those legs. Pull in. Out. Press up. And good. Pull in. Out. Up. This combines the legs, arms, core all together. This could still be the elbows pushing forward or no weights at all. Yes. And done. Good. Bring those legs in. Stand up nice and tall. You may use one weight or you could use both weights. Knee on the chair, hand on the chair. Nice long spine, so no break, no collapse. Keep the chest and shoulders facing the ceiling and just pull that elbow back. Can you do four more? Four, three, two, one. Now, if it's too heavy, put one of the weights down because I want you to open wide. We've done these standing upright. This is just using the chair as a prop. Four, three, Two, one. Let's try that on the other side. Same thing. Knee propped on the chair. Hand on the chair. Hold up. Reach. Shoulders and chest keep facing the ceiling. That belly pull keeps pulling up. Pull straight back. That elbow straight in and toward the ceiling. Four more, please. Three, two, one, and set one weight down, and open and close. If it doesn't, if it feels just fine, you can stay with both, but for a lot of people, that gets a pretty heavy real fast. Make sure that you didn't let go of your belly. Two and one. Good. <sighs> Feeling all right so far? All right. Working through the triceps. Let's go right here. Soft knee. Step back. I just want one hand at a time. Press right there. Four more. Four. Three. We already worked through the triceps once on that plank. Little fun thing. Hold three, two, one. I love to work the triceps because they are really crucial in helping to push you up out of chairs and off the ground. Two more like that. One more. Three, two, one, and release. Let's switch sides. Of course, you don't have to turn around. I just want my working arm to be toward the camera. Hold in nice and tight and press back. So keep that elbow right alongside, stuck to your ribs, or it can be lightly, slightly higher. It's up to you. Four more. Three, just keep your shoulder relaxed down. Let's go back for three. Three, two, one, and release. Three, two, 
one and release twice more three two one and release one more three two one and release okay we're going to do one more thing before we go back to the floor all right so standing next to your chair to the side of the chair but my feet are angled toward the front leg this right leg is going to be my working um, the moving leg this leg is going to work a lot supporting so stand up nice and tall pull your belly in i want you to lunge back so take a look at this front leg make sure you take a big enough step back you don't have to lunge deep but you want a big enough step back that you can bend your knees without driving your knee forward so a lot of people want to modify by going oh i'm just going to take a little step but that that hurts your knees more. So make sure it's a big step and then bend the knees. Even if you just take a little bend, you're going to keep your knee much happier. So once we've stepped into our lunge, now tap. And now take this leg and extend it behind you. It doesn't have to be high, but nice and straight. And some of us will go higher and some of us won't. And tap. Now it's the lunge. Lunge. Tap nice and tall, belly in. And extend. You can put the hand here. Good. Lunge. Tap. Reach back. Tap. Working balancing muscles yes nice and tall and if it, you can't get that foot all all the way up go there yes and doesn't matter how high your leg goes just think of lengthening till you feel the leg completely straight you feel it all the way through your glutes yes let's do it one more time back tap and extend and down and of course we have to switch sides i'm going to move my chair you can just walk around to the other side same thing let's make sure i'm not going to kick my wall so we step back lunge Again, double check, tap it, and extend, and tap. Yes, on that extension, your upper body is going to lean forward, so you're not creating tension through your back. But you don't need to, this is, the, this is what I don't want to see. Okay? So take that big step and stay long and straight through your body. Beautiful. Lunge, tap, extend. You might notice, oh wait, this, my standing leg, you think this leg's doing all the work, but you might be feeling a whole lot through this bottom leg. Yes. Extend. Take your time through this. This is your last one. Tap it. And extend. And good. All right. We're going to be doing abdominals on the floor today. I hope that you're feeling like you have progressed in the exercises but i am showing modifications so please um, do what is correct for you on any given day i hope you like this one or are liking it so far 
All right, I need to pull up my pants there. Seems like the warmer I get, the lower, the lower my pants go. All right, so when you're on the floor, knee, knees are bent, feet are planted, and see that? I want you to pull your belly button down. I want you to pull your back till your back is not good. I don't want your hips up, but I want you to pull your back on in toward the floor. Yes? And then relax. Good. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Option one, you're going to lift the knee and then you're going to take the knee toward the floor and you're going to take the hands opposite direction toward the floor. So pull in, feel the belly button and the back flatten even more. And as you extend, make sure the ribs stay down, abdominals stay down. Yes, as you feel that stretch. And if you wish, you may add the shoulders and the head lifting. Let's do two more, please. Two. And one. Very nice, relax that down. And we'll do the same thing. We pull in, we switch legs. Now, if you have progressed to the point where you're feeling very comfortable, you can remove the other foot off the floor. You're still only gonna move one leg at a time. However, make sure this doesn't pop up. Three more. Two. One more. Excellent. And relax. Okay, so we're working stabilization through the core. Right here, we're going to pull three, two, one, hold. Three, two, one, hold. Make sure that your pelvis does not rock, doesn't pop up and down. Same with the back. Three, two, one, hold. So if you wanna make this harder, the legs get farther away from you. But if you need to keep it easy, the foot stays closer to the center and closer to your hips, yes? One more time, three, two, one and hold and relax. How are we doing? We have one more to do and then guess what? Then you're done. I hope you've enjoyed this so far. All right, uh, the option is to rest, take your uh, left hand, place, place it behind your head, let your head rest in that hand. And we're gonna go three, two, hold. And three, two, hold. And three, two, hold. One more time, three, two, hold, and relax down. We're gonna switch. So this time, this knee and this elbow come together. So lift up, let your head rest back in that hand, and we go three, two, one, hold, three, two, one, hold, and if you like, you can go three, rest, one, hold. Rest, up, down. Yes? Three, two, one, hold. Last time, three, two, one, and relax. Working hard through that core. 
So <clears throat> I hope you enjoy. If you can sit in a wide straddle with both legs, if that creates this type of tension in your body, please extend one leg to the side and just bend the other so you can sit up nice and tall. Both hands to the floor and just walk forward. That should feel really good. We worked through the hips today, worked through the quads, we worked the hamstrings, we worked the chest and the back, we worked the shoulders, biceps, triceps, worked all around. So we're going to want to stretch all around. Sit up nice and tall. Take the hand on the inside of the right leg. Take the left hand and reach. You might be here or you might be here. Slide. If you're here, you're just going to slide this way. And if you wish, you can grab your, not really grab, but just place the hand on your shoulder and lift your elbow. So if you were doing one side, this would be your extended side. Yes. Let's switch. Nice and tall. So we're going to start from the straddle sit first and just lean forward. Try not to be there. And remember, if that leg is doing this, ease off. Don't go quite so deep. Breathe through those stretches. Thank you, muscles, for all that work. Good. So the left hand would be on the inside of that left thigh and either here or here and reach over. This hip stays on the floor regardless. Don't go there. Hip stays down or here and lift that elbow. Excellent. And bring it here. Cross over. When you cross over, if that makes your hip pop off the floor and you can't get it back down again, instead of cross, just put the foot right next to your calf. Either one works. Sit up nice and tall. Hug that knee up and then turn. Lift, 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 then turn. Good, release and switch. And again, you can be here or here, up to you. Hug it, lift first, then turn. Oh, gorgeous, and release. Bring it around front and bend those knees. Ooh, just easy. Rotate, rotate. Easing tension from your hips and from your back. Let's go the other way. Take a deep breath. Exhale, push out. Open, open, open. Hands clasp behind, either knuckles into the mat. Lift and pull the shoulder blades back toward each other or you can extend, clasp the hands and extend way back. Whichever one works for you. Knuckles into the mat or extending those arms. And give yourself a great big hug. Pull those elbows down, open the back. <sighs> Reopen, deep breath. Exhale, recross, opposite arm on top. Pull that elbow down. Beautiful work today. I hope this one works for you. Senior strength. Thanks for being here.